to your point, glad he did it and glad James did it because we deserve to know this. Mm -hmm. They're sticking that needle in our arms and our children's arms right now. They're, they're still having mandatory vaccine programs all over the country. They're trying to bring them back in schools and so on. They're still in our school. Um, and then to your point about why this is so pernicious, because the people who approve that vaccine and were supposed to be holding Pfizer responsible and accountable for its role in the public health system are on the take. They're basically on the take because they are banking on getting a big job at Pfizer when they leave the FDA or potentially the CDC as they have been doing for years. That's where they cash in. These right public regulators who are looking out for us. And they discuss that too. Here's an interesting soundbite on um, that exact point. Soundbite eight. Are they revolving door for all government officials? Wow. Yeah, for any industry though. So like in the pharma industry, all the government uh, officials who like, you know, review our drugs, once yeah. they come work for pharma companies. Like in the military, like all the like army and defense, like government officials eventually go work for the defense company afterwards. Yeah. How do you feel about that revolving door? Like, It's pretty good for the industry, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's bad for everyone else in America. Why is it bad for everybody else? Because if the regulators who have to approve our drugs know that once they stop being regulated, they want to go work for the company, then I got to be as hard for the company. You know, we're getting that job. Right. Jordan. He nails it. Once again, he, that's, the, I mean, of course, we all know he is telling the truth. That is true. That's not a lie, though he claimed it to be later. We pulled the stats. Uh, Science Mag in 2018 did a report. 15 of the 26 employees who left the FDA later worked or consulted, consulted for the biopharmaceutical industry that was studying just one year, uh, a nine-year period, I guess, in one field. The hemo, hematological, I don't know, in one field, Michael. Um, and then they, they said this, science has discovered that 11 of the 16 FDA medical examiners who worked on a tw on 28 drug approvals and then left the agency for new jobs are now employed by or consult for the companies they recently regulated. 11 of the 16 FDA examiners who worked on the drug, drug approvals. The vast majority who decide what drug gets approved or you know okay to, is okay to stick in our arms are they're on the take. They are beholden to big tech for the big job to pay their big mortgages. This is a big matter of, of the highest sort of public corruption. And so we're laughing about it because it's kind of a funny video. And you might even feel a little sorry for the guy in the way that you feel sorry for anybody who gets caught doing something wrong and the kind of pity that, that one feels for criminals. But, but to your point, Megan, this is deadly serious, truly deadly serious. These vaccines have been mandated. People have been forced to violate their conscience in many cases because the vaccines were produced using and uh, developed using aborted fetal cells. Uh, they, they have been forced Tested to get on, it right. against their will, knowing the risks or suspecting the risks. People have died from these vaccines. People have had very serious complications from these vaccines. And then furthermore, to the type of research that we're talking about here, gain-of-function research, gain-of-function research has killed people. If, as seems likely, gain-of-function research was involved in, in launching the pandemic in the first place, many, many, many people have been killed because of this. And uh, uh, Dr. Fauci, when he was discussing the risks of gain of function years ago, he said, well, you know, it's basically worth the risks. Yes, it could go awry, but the benefits outweigh the potential costs. Well, even if that were the case, that ought to be a matter for public debate. I don't think that the benefits seem to outweigh the costs here, but that should be a matter for public debate, not, not for, for a pharmaceutical company to hide and, and lie to the public about, and then for that same pharmaceutical company to, to control the regulators who should, at the very least, be asking questions about these kinds of activities. Yes, it's true. And before you start to feel too bad, I'm talking to myself. For Jordan, here he is feeling pretty good about the amount of dough his company is collecting. And notwithstanding the risks of this making the viruses more potent um, activity, it's SOT7. Isn't that the, like the best business model though? Like just control nature before nature even happens itself, right? Yeah, yeah. If it works. <laughs> what do you mean if it works? Because like some of the times there were just mutations that pop up, right? They were not prepared for it, like with Delta or Omicron right. and things like that. So who knows? I mean, either way, it's going to be a cash cow. COVID will probably be a cash cow for us for a while going forward. Like, yeah. I obviously like <laughs> Well, I think the whole, you know, I think the whole, like, research of the viruses and mutating it, like, 
would be the ultimate like cash cow. Yeah, it'd be perfect. It'd be perfect. And he says, it's hard to hear there, but he says, well, some of the times um, mutations pop up that we're not prepared for, like the Delta and the Omicron and things like that. Yes, the things that killed a lot of people, uh, Delta in particular. Yeah, those. that's why we're concerned about this. But you can hear him enjoying the notion of it's still going to be a cash cow for us. You know, a lot of people called us rubes, those of us early on who were skeptical of the whole COVID regime and the mandates and the lockdowns and the, the vaccines, and they called us rubes. They said, you don't understand how science works. I think those people don't understand how politics works because anybody with two brain cells to rub together could have realized at the beginning of this whole lockdown nonsense that a handful of companies, a small number of individuals stood to make a ton of money from the COVID regime. The COVID lockdowns broadly represented the largest transfer of wealth from the lower classes to the wealthier classes in recorded history. Do you think that that, that doesn't have any effect on the kinds of policies that you're going to see pushed from the private sector, from the public sector, and by the way, the distinction between those two things is getting blurrier by the day? If you don't think that money has any role in that, I have got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you, along with all the vaccines and the gain-of-function research. Is your business still using spreadsheets and emails to manage important sales commission? Why? Why? Is your support and operations staff stretched thin and stressed out from dealing with all this unnecessary paperwork? Why? Are your salespeople constantly trying to piece together the puzzle for what they're getting paid on and what's potentially missing? That's annoying. This is where ClearComp comes in to make your life easier. ClearComp is a one-stop shop for your business to manage sales commission documentation like commission plan info, product info, and fax. It's basically a sales operations and sales enablement dream platform. ClearComp works seamlessly and securely with your existing software applications for your billing, CRM, HR, you get the picture. Your sales team is going to perform their best with real-time results and earnings using ClearComp's interactive boards like this one. And your operations team will be able to make commission plan adjustments with just a few clicks. So please, get this done already, right? Stop putting it off. Modernize your sales organization. Improve your business today by visiting clearcomp.com. That's C-L-E-A-R-C-O-M-P.com. Book a demo and tell them I sent you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.